Hi, my name is Nick Barnes. I teach down here at the, the Art League School and today I'm going to do a demonstration on working with acrylics. So we're going to use a slightly heavier saw blade here. This is an aught blade. Set it up exactly the same way as if you'd be doing for, for metal, making sure that the teeth face down towards the, the handle. Put it under a little bit of tension. And then when you're cutting your acrylic, keeping your blade upright, keeping the shape that you're going to be wanting to eventually get to one side of the blade or the other. Keep your elbow low on the hand that you're holding your piece of acrylic with, and that allows you to keep the piece nice and steady. And then just cut through at the end, don't stop, and then that way you won't break your, your blade. Okay. So we've got two pieces of plastic at the moment. We've got a clear piece, okay, and we've got a, a black piece. And the paper we just keep on there to protect the surface until we're ready to work with it. Okay. So we'll put this on around about 325, stick it in there for about a minute or so, and let it go to the plastic. So whilst we're waiting for that, we're going to take the moulds that we're going to use, which are just our dapping blocks that we've got here. All right. Find one that's going to work good for the size that we're working with. Okay. And we're just going to use the pressing, the, the punch to be able to push the acrylic down into the shape we want. And the easiest way to find out if it's hot enough is just to simply just pick out, start pulling it. So you can see the, the elastic nature of it already. Still a little on the stiff side, so I'm going to put it back in, just let it go a little bit more. Has anybody worked with shrinky dig? Same kind of thing. Yeah, same kind of thing. 40 years ago. I'm going to put it down. So the coldness of the steel blocks cool this down pretty quickly. All right, and there's your form. Oh, that's a nicer one than the one before. Okay. Right. Uneven around the edges there. Okay. So we could take a file to this to start filing it down, or we can take a coarse sandpaper. As you can see, it takes down the plastic nice and quickly. Okay. So you want to take that all the way down until we basically get to a nice flat finish like we've got on there. I'm just going to paint in a little bit of the glue size in preparation. Okay. Nice thin layer. It goes on white and kind of dries clear. So you can see if you've got too much on there. And you can see the little air bubbles that I'm creating. You just want to make sure you, you pull those out as much as you can. When you let it dry, you want to take it to what they call a dry tack. If you take the back of your fingernail and kind of touch on the inside, you can feel a little bit of stickiness to it, okay? But nothing that it's going to be pulling back away from you. You can just take a little piece, doesn't matter if it's bigger than the whole of the piece itself, just lay it down. And then take, take a dry brush. The wider brushes that I've got over here are the drier ones, okay? And we can just simply just push on down into the piece. And everywhere where the glue is, the gold will take. And you'll see it on the other side like that. Anything excess, okay, will flake off. As you can see on the edges where I haven't got the glue, just take it off like that. So I want to get through to showing you how to weld the plastic onto to the other surface as well. So I just want to take any of the loose gold leaf around the outside of that, take that off, just once over with the sanding board, we'll do that nicely. Okay. The surface I'm going to be putting onto also needs to be clean. All right? You can either sand it on the board, although that board's a little on the coarse side. A little bit of scotch bright, you can do the same thing. Or a little bit of sandpaper. scotch bright is nice because it doesn't leave any grit. So what we're going to use here is this uh, plastic weld. Okay? You basically don't want to be breathing this in for any, any length of time. Okay? So no sniffing of the bottle. 
we can put it on by brush or we can put it on with this little pipette thing that we've got here. The nice thing about once the plastic's wet is that uh, uh, frosted finish ends up disappearing. You just want to put it around the plastic. And what this does is on contact with the plastic, it starts melting it. So what you want to do with this as well is the same thing on this side. Bring them together. A little bit of pressure. And if you get some of this weld on the outside, don't worry because we're going to end up polishing that. And then use the cap reaction of the plastic and the liquid just to paint around the edges. And then you just want to leave that for about an hour to fully cure before you start working with it. Now, attaching that onto something else, okay, it's just a question then of drilling. Okay, we can glue or rivet onto the surface of it using uh, whatever materials we want to work with. Okay. Or if we're going to be putting this onto, say, like a necklace or something, we can treat it just like a bead and we can drill through into the plastic uh, to be able to create a, a stringing line like that. Okay. Something like this primarily, you know, for a little ring or something would work really nicely.